Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 21st, 2021. If you want to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and that helps us really much at this channel. So we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as I said um, yesterday's video, we were expecting a rally, and we did rally today, up 3.52% uh, at this current stage. And it looks like we are probably going to test the 20, uh, 200 moving average up here at 114. And 20 exponential is first. It's here at 109. And the reason why I say that is because these techniques are turning around. We were significantly oversold, fairly overstretched here, and a rally was expected and so on. It is... Um, it can't just break down forever. And we found quite a lot of support down here at the 300 moving average. But it doesn't mean that we're going to completely change it in the direction here. And now we're going to rally to the all time highs. There's a lot of work to be done in order to get through these moving averages, especially the 200. And then we also have the 50 moving average here. But MACD is still in negative territory, crossing the signal line here, still in, the, uh, in a, a downward trend. And... Um, it's probably going to bounce when we are basically coming across here. And the uh, question is whether or not we manage to go back into positive territory and going back to uh, um, basically an upward trends. Um, so this has lost massive amount of value. Uh, it lost roughly 40% uh, of its value at, uh, at the lows here at the 300 moving average. At the current stage, it has lost 32% of its value. So there is... Um, this was one of the best performing ETFs in 2020. It has definitely not been one of the best performing ETFs in 2021. Then we have the RSI is also bullish. The um, CCI is becoming bullish. The stochastic is bullish. And we're approaching the middle of the bullish band. So we could find major resistance right here at 112. That's right underneath the, right underneath the 200 moving average. So let's look at the DVI. So DBI has rallied yet again. We're up only 0 0.17, but the 50, no, 20 exponential moving average has offered massive support as it has done in the past. So this has just been bouncing off the 20 exponential moving average for several months now. We can go all the way back uh, to November, basically last year. It has been bouncing off the 20 exponential. It hasn't really tested. It tested once the 50 right here, but otherwise it has been the 20 exponential where it has bounced off. But uh, technically, the do not favor the upside yet. So we may see this just hanging around at the 20, probably breaking down to the 50 if uh, this becomes really negative. But uh, then we have to break the middle of the bullish band in order to go that low. MACD is bearish, RSI is flat, CCI is flat, stochastic is bearish. So to the upside, we could rally towards uh, 124 as the previous highs here, also the top of the bullish band, and that should offer massive support. Resistance, sorry. So let's look at what uh, VTI. So VTI has rallied today. We're up 1.09%. Uh, Technical indicators are still fairly bearish. MACD is still bearish, but it is rounding off here and most likely will cross the signal line within the next few days if this continues. RSI is bullish, CCI is flat, stochastic has crossed the signal line, it is bullish at this point. We're approaching the middle of the bullish band and we have pulled back when we got there. So we did that, we did that uh, the same thing um, a few days ago and then we fell all the way down to the bottom. So if we manage to have a close above the bullish band, then we could head towards the top. And that's a move of 2.5% to the upside and also retesting these previous highs. So let's look at MCHI. So we have rallied and we have rallied the last five trading days. So we hit the bottom here roughly at 70, uh, 76. And since then we have basically been rallying roughly 5.7% uh, roughly to the upside. And it looks like if we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band, bullish band then we could go another 4.8% up towards the 100 moving average or the top of the bullish band uh, before we found, find major resistance. It should be quite uh, also resistant here at the 50 moving average, but uh, as to be seen whether or not we've managed to get through that. Technically, we do favor the upside. MACD is bullish, the RSI is bullish, so is the CSCI. It's very low yet, but it's becoming bullish, and so is the stochastic. 
So let's look at IBV. So IBV is up 1.06%. It is also approaching the middle of the bullish band and it's getting rejected at the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. MACD is bearish, RSI is uh, is bullish, CCI is flat, and stochastic is just hanging around here in, in, in bearish territory. So we are above the 20 exponential. We could head towards the previous highs here, which is basically the top of the bullish band, and that's a move of roughly 1.79% to the upside. To the downside, we have the 50 moving average right here at 409 Break below that opens the door to the 100 moving average down at 397. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, good luck, and thank you very much.